Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and then I'm going to show you how to import a picture into Blender, then make a frame around it, then add lighting, and then in the end, render the image. So, let's get started. Okay, so you want to start off by switching to cycles, which is a lot more realistic, with better shading. And then you right click on the lamp, and click X to delete. Then you select the cube to delete it and add a plane, then click R, Y, 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis, and click S, set to scale it on the Z axis, which is up and down of course, and left click to confirm as always. And now we're going to go into edit mode, then click Control R, and then use the mouse wheel one time to make two loop cuts, left click two times, and click S, Y to scale it on the Y axis. To make it wider and do the same again Control r make two of them and then scale it on the set axis and left click to confirm now go to face select and hold in shift while you select all the faces around the middle face because this is going to be our frame And the last one. Now we're going to click E to extrude. And make it as thick as you want it. Okay, so now I'm going to add materials to the frame. And add a picture. So we're going to start off by right click to select the middle face. And then I'm going to take out the settings. And go to materials. Add a new material. And this is going to be our frame material, so call it frame if you want to. You don't have to name it anything, but I'm just going to name it frame. And then you want to go down to colors and make it dark. At least I'm going to make it dark. Add a new material. This is going to be our picture material. So I'm going to add the name picture. And now I'm going to go up to UV image editor and I'm gonna upload the picture so now you can just download whatever picture you want that you want to have in the picture frame uh, just use the screen just google it if you want to use the same picture and I click U to unwrap and if you go back to UV image editor now you can see that the unwrapping covers the whole picture so now I'm going to go and add the unwrap picture to my material. Use this one and click assign to assign the picture to that um, face. And as you can see now, it's kind of broken. So I have to go back to the UV image editor and change around this one. So I'm going to rotate it. Click R. Then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to scale it and use S, X, and S, Y to scale it uh, to make it wider and taller. That way we can cover the whole image. Now, if you go back to the 3D view and click assign again. You can see that the picture now works. So you just have to rotate it around and make it fit into the picture properly. I go back to solid mode. And I'm just going to save it for now before we keep going. So just give it whatever name you want to. And click enter. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to start editing the um, frame itself. So as you can see behind, it's still kind of a hole. So I'm going to go back to edit mode and select the outer uh, edges. So go to edge select, hold in shift, and then select all the uh, edges around the frame 
So just right click, hold and shift, right click, right click. And what I'm going to do now is actually to grab it out with G and then fill it with F. So now I have all of them selected. So now I'm going to click G, X to grab it on the X axis. So click G, X, and grab it out as much as you want. And I'm going to click F to fill it. So now it's completely filled and you have a back on the frame. Okay, so left click to add a 3D cursor. This is going to be where our plane spawns. Then you're going to click R, Y, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. And scale it up with S. Now we have a wall, so I'm just going to add a color to the wall. Add whatever color you want, but I'm just going to make it white. Now add a new plane, this is going to be our lighting, so click R to rotate, G to grab, and S to scale. New material, add an emission material, and then strength to 5, 7 for top view, shift D to duplicate, and then R set to rotate on, on the set axis. And click S to scale to make it bigger, because this is going to be our fill light. Okay, it seems like everything is okay now, so I'm going to start positioning the camera. And the way to look into the camera is to click numpad 0. And then I'm going to select the camera, right click, and then click shift F to start moving it around. And you can use the um, W, A, S and D to move it around just like in a video game. And I'm going to position it here. And I'm going to scale up the wall and then start grabbing it a little bit again. I'm just going to place it here to, for the thumbnail. Now rendered mode. Looks pretty nice. Now I'm actually going to upload the file, the finished file from this tutorial uh, on my website. So we will find the link in the descri description. And you can change the color of the frame, the color of the wall, and you can, of course, upload your picture inside the frame if you want to. So, I think that's useful. As you can see, you can change the color, make it darker. And just tweak around with it. I'm just going to do some final tweaks. Just right click two times on the camera to select it. And I'm going to grab it and rotate it a little bit closer to the image itself. And if you click on the camera, click G and then hold in the middle mouse button, you can actually zoom in and out, which is useful. Uh, let's go and select the wall and make it white because that's what I want on the finished image. As you can see, you can make it really dark as well. Just change the color to whatever you want. Now I'm going to go up to completely white. And I'm going to go to the camera to start rendering it. Bump up the quality to 100% and click Render. Now I'm going to speed up. This is actually recorded on the laptop, so it takes a lot of time. Now I'm pretty happy with the results, so thank you guys for watching, and more videos coming very soon.